Hey you guys, I, I want to talk about security um, in this internet uh, that we're in all the time. I really seriously doubt and I am not at all paranoid um, about the FBI or the CIA tracking down me or any of you because there are so many people on earth and just about every one of us is posting something on a regular basis. It is impossible for, you know, there are people who come out and make it sound like, okay, yeah, this, they, they're, they're tracking us down and they're, we're like in a prison, you know, and the whole thing is, is exaggerated you know maybe a few years ago when there were few people you know fewer people making controversial videos but nowadays you've got so many I, I think that these people to be honest with you are more entertained by what we're doing on the internet they're probably just more entertained than anything but of course they have to do their job they have to listen for keywords and read look for keywords but but they probably have a few people um you know that are that are more on their watch list than others but they they have so much information coming in that it is overwhelming to for them to do the kind of job that some people are making it out to be i personally don't think that i could do you know a, a very good job of keeping track of you know these criminals um you know by myself of course you know so you need i think that we need more people working for the fbi and we need more people working for the cia to help them out people who have an analytical mind <laughs> and investigative eyes so that we can help them out because how else are they going to sort through all that stuff coming in you have to filter a lot of stuff and so instead of being paranoid by the fbi and the cia and thinking that we are all imprisoned and that they're treating all of us like suspects it's like we need to see how we can help you know as long as we go in uh you know not that they're going to say oh yeah you want to work for us sure no problem no i'm sure they're going to do a background check and make sure that you're not you know some dangerous person or some lying person or some thief or some you know some bad guy or a girl but you know they they need they need helpers because there's a lot of child trafficking and human trafficking among us among us you know i've never been afraid of the fbi and the cia i'm much more concerned about y'all out there because we we do have such a thing as black market and the black internet and it's horrific and there's a lot of people doing black magic and witchcraft and involved in hum, human trafficking for organ harvesting and that is very dangerous and so that's what the FBI needs help with so instead of being paranoid and thinking that the FBI and the CIA are the enemy think of it this way if you feel that you have the gifts that it takes to cross-examine and you know filter through stuff and you have a, a an eye for that kind of stuff then by all means apply because I'm sure that they could put you to good use they need all the helpers that have you know the know-how and the and i'm sure they'll train you specifically how they need to train you to do your good job and 
uh, but uh, anyway, yeah, that's what I wanted to say. The thing about the FBI and the CIA, when you work for agencies like that, you really cannot be um, coming out like, like um, you know, for example, me, for example, I couldn't be making the videos that I make and make the comments that I make so openly because I would have to be a much more private citizen. But this is ironic because when I was a private citizen, everybody and their brother came into my house without being invited. And this is something that the FBI or the CIA and or um, should have prevented. So had they had more helpers, perhaps my home wouldn't have been invaded by a bunch of everybody and their brother. Now, I'm not saying that I don't want to speak about the, the Word of God to everybody. Certainly, I want to be able to be heard and understood, and I want people to share notes. But I don't want everybody and their brother in my house, and there's a difference. Because I cannot trust all of y'all. No, just look at this world the way it is, full of perverted people. And uh, yes, it, it is true that we have some, you know, unethical things going on within agencies, you know. But there's a lot of unethical things going on in the medical field and politics and the churches and even within our very homes um you know for example i was not putting on a pony show when i lived in mobile with uh, andy trahan you know <clears throat> i never said to him oh you know what i want to be advertising something or um putting on a show Never was it discussed with me, was my permission granted for that. I have a son, and you have to be careful when you have children. Because, like I said, there's too much child pornography. And then he, he said, well, what are you going to do? Why don't you go get a job? And it's like, well, I, I'm applying, and nobody's hiring me. I mean, for a whole year, I was applying places. And so, nobody hired me. And so we were in moving transition because he had asked me to move out. And this is not something that I was out there advertising. And so finally, what really set off the alarm for me in my heart, like I just couldn't have any more of it, the hypocrisy, was when... Um, because he, he works for a company. He works for a company that um, they, they monitor phone calls oh, for, the, for the inmates. And you know that we've had mass incarceration in America um, that's making money for the few, for the elite. Because now these jails have been privatized um, for the benefit of you know of the few while mass incarcerating all kinds of people and i believe that that in itself is criminal to be mass incarcerating people so the in the end what was brought up to my attention was that the the prisoners were going to be given um tablets f free from the government and you know that all inmates were going to be having tablets. That was him telling me this stuff a few years ago. And I thought to myself, that's only an excuse to steal intellectual capital. You know, of course, there's benefits to that because they can keep track of what the prisoners are doing, you know, with whom on the outside and bust some other criminals. But, you know, a lot of them, you know, are there for a petty crimes, petty crimes and misdemeanors and things that they don't need to be in jail for. And what really set off the alarm um, was that his company um, had 
a reputation for not answering the phone when uh, for customer service. And I thought to myself, because I, I, I asked him, I said, well, can I work for your company? And he's like, well, they're not hiring right now. And he was really putting the pressure for me to go to work. And now I was, you know, I was the one that, who decorated the house. I actually made phone calls to get you know rugs area rugs and I actually made all the negotiations for the furniture in the house and I actually decorated the house you know and a lot of the furniture that we had it was from me mine that's just been sitting in my storage unit for over a year now collecting dust but um so because I am a decorator you know, I'm not a professional licensed decorator, but I don't need a professional licensed decorator to come decorate my house because I decorate my own house. I color my own hair. I grow my own nails. When they don't grow, I just suck it up. You know, I, I give myself my own massage. You know, I was taking care of my son. It was obviously, uh, you know, obvious apparent because you know the photos before he was picked up by DHR his skin which is the largest organ um, it was very healthy I mean I was not blessed with perfect skin we know that I have melasma I have scars I scar very easily I mean if a mosquito bites me I'll, I'll that scar will stay there forever you know um, one time I was removing a band-aid and the band-aid adhesive peeled off my skin and actually I have a scar still today from like four years ago five years ago when this happened so um, I have very thin skin I'm very sensitive to fragrances like I can I love fragrance you know but I have to wear it on my clothing if it's not from natural sources, I have to be very careful. Like I cannot put fragrance stuff on my face or my private areas um, or my scalp because it will um, make me swell up and rashy. And so for the longest time, I've been using um, the laundry detergent that has no artificial colors or dyes and I do my dishes with a soap if I can pur purchase it myself I will use one that has no uh, scents or dyes because I don't want that in my, my 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 dishes where I drink out of coffee out of you know so I was taking care of my son his skin was really in good condition and um, because he was eating healthy because nutrition has always been important to me and uh, but you know as a mom as a humble simple woman you know because I've never I've never wanted the attention on me if anybody ever videotaped me um, without my knowledge or permission for for their personal amusement or their personal gain or their personal perversion or experimentation or for whatever political reason that was without my knowledge or permission you know have you noticed I haven't sued anybody because you have to have money to sue so you know you have to have a good lawyer this is why I chose to represent myself in court when Alexander was picked up but they wanted me to be represented because they said that I was not an attorney and they basically just wanted somebody to represent me so that they can charge for representing me or maybe something else larger than I'm aware of was going on that was very much, you know, um, you know, religiously, politically, medically related. Okay? And I'm not a politician. I've never claimed to be one. I am not a biblical whore, nor am I a nun. I've never claimed to be that. I'm not gay, but I don't have a problem with gay people. 
Um, I don't have a problem with gay people, but I, I'm not going to be raising my son to purposely be gay. But, you know, I'll tell my son respect. If that little boy that you play with has two mommies, that's fine. That's just the way it is, you know, for that family. I'm not going to keep my son from playing with that little boy because that mommy has a, a wife. You know, it's like that's their personal business. But I don't appreciate, you know, any particular church um, hiring people on a volunteer basis or ba a paid basis to um, spy on me. You know, that's just to me like, you know, if you want to know whether I'm Jesus Christ or not, why don't you come to me and ask me personally? But, you know, we are the body of Christ. We are members of the body. I'm just a member. I'm not outside. I'm not. I'm inside whether you like me or not. I've known that for a long time. Whether you like me or not. You know, when I was in Mobile and I was looking for work and I actually ended up putting Alexander in, in sports uh, through the church and sometimes, you know, Andy would pay for the sports and sometimes I had to ask the church you know for for assistance because they had that available they had what they call um, um, well basically it was free you know um, I'm trying to think of the name it's at the tip of my tongue you know when you a scholarship but kind of like a scholarship but you know for the sports and um, it was you know just for the temporary season you know and Alexander and I did that twice where we 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 did that through the church but I mean Andy makes good money he's a computer scientist and he makes a lot of money and um, I was homeschooling before before we moved into that house that he bought supposedly for us to live in as a family and his mom um andy's mom told me well susan now you're gonna have to put alexander in public school so that you can go to work and help andy because andy is not going to be able to afford private school for alexander and now andy graduated from a private school you know, and he makes a lot of money. And it was his idea to buy a house for us to live in as a family, which I had already decorated the apartment that we lived in um, at Lafayette Square, um, which was owned by, um, um, anyway, there's a, Fushi, Fushi bought it from the previous uh, company. And so, um, you know, I had I had also applied to be a, a an apartment complex uh, person, like a leasing person. They didn't hire me, and so finally I went to the church and I said, "Well, I can help if you want on a volunteer basis to kind of pay back." You know, I didn't say to pay back, but I meant it. You know, like to pay back for Alexander going to sports because I had a life. I actually had a life I was a very busy mom you know and I enjoyed it I enjoyed being busy I wasn't putting on a pony show out of my house and um, so when when I went to the church in 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 told the, the, the lady in charge of the sports uh, Miss Rose over there, I told her, look, you know, I, I'm bilingual, I can teach Spanish or something. I mean, I can do something, you know, and um, she said, well, we already have somebody who does that. Her name is Luz. Ironically, that's my ex-husband's wife's name, but she lives in, in Mississippi. So she's also a teacher. Um, she works in Louisiana, but she drives to Louisiana. For work because um, she said that she loved her job in Louisiana and was not as happy with her job in Mississippi um, her daughter was getting picked on in school so they had to move back to you know Ocean Springs um, but yeah some you know sometimes um, 
administration can bully the kids. Like my son Alexander was bullied the entire first grade. Um, that's why I was very busy documenting what was happening because he was clearly um, see he started he started public school in mid kindergarten and Miss Manhattan was the best the best she was a, she is a seasoned teacher and you cannot tell a seasoned teacher how to run her program she's gonna respect administration but she's also gonna be wise enough to know you know what to and not to do because she knows that the kids are the future leaders and she treated the children with most respect she was she was just the most respectful caring human being um, at that school um, I also enjoyed the librarian she was very sweet um, she witnessed um, well she, Alexander got injured in school in the eye at the library when the the teacher the first grade teacher not miss not the kindergarten teacher but the first grade teacher was handing him a book and she said that Alexander was being fidgety and accidentally hit inserted the the tip of the the, the corner of the book in his eye this is the lady that was picking on my son the entire first grade and with Miss Manhattan in kindergarten she never had a complaint about Alexander I mean like when we would have like face-to-face -face meetings parent to teacher meeting she spoke very highly of Alexander she said Alexander um, is a joy to teach she said he's he's very very chatty though he's she said she didn't say chatty he's she said he's very social Alexander's very social and so I've had to separate him and his little social friend you know so that they can focus a little bit more but he is a joy to teach and she was just wonderful Alexander loved her but when Alexander started first grade it was a nightmare and I believe that this happened purposely because they test the kids for the gifted program in second grade and I do believe that they just didn't want him to qualify because they were wanting to to flag him as a special needs when my child was advanced I reported this to Martha Peake I mean long letters because I don't play so what really hit me was when I was like Andy can I work for your company I mean they obviously need help with customer service because people are complaining on the internet this company has like one star one star and I'm just like when I would read the, the complaints people were saying we we bought a $500 uh, calling card so that we could communicate with our loved ones who are in prison and we're not able to use the card or in the middle of the conversation the phone got disconnected and good luck trying to get a hold of customer service basically people were being scammed their money and so think about it from this perspective if you're in prison for it doesn't matter you can be guilty or not guilty okay you're sitting in prison and you're trying to speak to your loved one it could be your mom it could be your your sister it could be your brother it could be your child okay and you're not able to because the little money that was gathered to buy a, a calling card to speak to you for you to have to be able to call now you don't have it I believe that we need to send care packages to people in jail I really do I think that we need to send people essential oils you know to pacify people because aromatherapy is therapeutic we, we should consider sending these people essential they need to be essential not like artificial stuff 
because otherwise it defeats the purpose. It needs to be a therapeutic grade essential oil that, you know, of course these things you have to be careful because they're flammable or whatever. So, you know, you just, you, but I think that people need to be able to give themselves a massage in, in a prison because how else, I, th I think that this would reduce these fights that go on inside the prisons because when 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 you have all kinds of people like that it's like inhumane and cruel treatment of people just like for the same reason i buy free range chicken eggs because i'm against um these chicken even though we're gonna eat them you know because god has given us dominion over not o not other people God has given us dominion not over other people. God has given us dominion over the air and all that lives in it, the water and all that lives in it, and the in the land and all that lives in it. God did not say go and and, and, and hunt men and experiment on mankind or experiment on animals for that matter. Did God tell you that? No. Okay. Who am I? I'm his daughter, and I'm not making this up. You're his daughter and you're his son too, okay? And I've had enough of the lies and the and the deceit and all of the disgusting stuff that's been going on to oppress us, okay? So, for the same reason that I don't like, you know, to buy food with hormones and pesticides and antibiotics, because for the same reason they don't they don't sell veal anymore because veal was like removing the baby the the calf from the mommy you know and kill it very young or 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 have these cows that were mutilated on purpose you know basically it forced to be in a prison cell the the entirety of their lives so that they couldn't move so that their their flesh would be tender do you see how horrific humanity can be sometimes yeah these people who were just money hungry they just wanted to make money it didn't matter how back back not too long ago they would have these chickens all cooped up you know because they wanted to make more they would give it antibiotic and pesticides and in all kinds of you know um to grow them quick and fatten them up quick right and these chicken had no freedom because they were all cooped up in there all of that stuff should be illegal you know we should only be consuming free range and you know because we are what we eat so the same thing with these overcrowded jails the whole thing is to make these people money it's like a human farm and i i said to andy i said andy can I, can I work for your company for like customer service? Because I would like to take care of these people. And he said, well, they're not hiring right now. I checked with, with our lady who does the hiring. And um, I, I, I was reading, I was reading the, the comments and people said we would buy these calling cards and we were not able to use it. I, I invested $500 or I invested X amount of money and was never able to reach customer service. Nobody answered the phone or I got the runaround. And I thought to myself, ah, this sounds like back in the days, a few years ago, you know, AT&T was having some issues with customer service, but AT&T has actually turned it around you know, turned it around. Because when they started out, AT&T started out, it was great customer service. Fantastic, okay? Then they started outsourcing or whatever, and, and then people were like disconnected. And it was like talking to the wall, talking to the wall. Then AT&T turned it around and they were like, you know what? We need to start taking care of our people. Like cricket phone, Cricket phone is the best, $30 a month, 
no wishy-washy business you get great customer service in person you get great customer service when you call you know you don't get any extra fees what it is what it is talk about transparency and their AT&T uh, towers or whatever so I like that they turned it around you know when somebody said to me, you are a lazy, fat, B-I-T-C-H, I said, excuse me, excuse me, you just watch. I am going to lose the weight, and you're not going to be there to enjoy it. This happened a long time ago in Mississippi, like 20 years ago. Mira, ve. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. When I say I'm going to do something, I do it. I don't play games. I went to the world gym and I lost my weight. I got down to a size zero. And I have the bull brutality genes from the gap to prove it. So I said to, to, to my husband, I said, you watch and you're not going to be there to enjoy it. Okay, because I don't like to be treated like that. I was not born to be abused. No. I may have been abused, but that doesn't mean that you have to continue being a victim. No. And I'm not an abusive person, but I had a lot of energy in my house. It was hot. Okay. And I was right down upset. Yes. I don't want any disorganization in my house, huh? And then he was t telling me, this is a fast forward now. I don't care who it is. No man is going to tell me that I need to be going to work. And here I am doing the dishes and doing the decorating and taking care of my son, taking him to and from school, having to document that he was getting picked on the entire first grade. Huh? I was doing like all kinds of jobs simultaneously. And then I said, well, I won't work for this company of yours because that way, you know, we go to work at the same time, we get back. But he was working from home. Oh, yeah, on the sofa, sitting down watching cartoons and ghost shows. I said, que es eso, ah? que frescura, que frescura, frescura means fresh, huh? because they think that you are a Latina woman that you have to be a slave no 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 and they it, it is it, everywhere you go okay I had a a staffing company after I specifically I made it abundantly clear from day one I said I like the food industry I want to work in food service okay because I want to have my own restaurant some someday and I already I already you know know how to train people because I did that in the military but you know whatever so I, I said I'll work part-time but when I have my son I'm only available during the day while he's at school I'm not available at nights and on weekends but conveniently that was the only thing that they had available was nights and weekends and as a housekeeper I said no 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 I'm already a housekeeper in my house I'm not gonna be leaving my baby with somebody who likes to drink to get drunk so I can go in and in and, and go to work for less than ten dollars an hour when I can make at least ten dollars an hour working in food service and I said I am only available during the days and during the weeks the weekdays when I have my son okay that's why I had to send him back to Virginia for the summertime because Andy was putting the pressure on me to go to work and I was like okay that's fine okay uh, now my mom is gonna think that I really don't want to be with my son but all kinds of things happening simultaneously so when then I started doing my research that the majority of people in jail up until that point were black Afro-American young men and that for a long time in the state of Alabama and I mean police officers came out and spoke about it they said yes I feel bad because we were targeting young black Afro-Americans we were like implanting evidence which is like drugs and stuff and they came out and said it and I was not aware of that 
I was like in La La Land. You know what I mean? I really was. I was like one of those people. You know, I'm like, oh, I see my vision and I am just like reading the ingredients of the food that we eat and I am just decorating the house, going to Hobby Lobby, going to Michael's and Kirkland's and going to TJ Maxx and playing Uno with my son and I'm going bye-bye and we're going to the park and we're going to pump it up and we're going to Krispy Kreme and we're going to, you know, that was my life. <clears throat> you know, what is what are the ingredients in this lotion? What are the ingredients in this food? What are the ingredients in here? That was my life. Oh, my vision, my vision. Yes, I need to keep that in mind. But, you know... I had all that going on simultaneously and I have the emails to prove it and the FBI and the CIA are my witness that I have nothing to hide and no one to fear but God himself and I have seen my papa's eyes and his mouth scintillating and we went into the womb of his heart you were with me and we didn't get burned no because the spirit is fire the spirit of truth and you can strip me butt naked i was born naked like dr bob utley says naked i have no shame but i'm not going to be walking around butt naked for everybody and their brother to see me huh que siso sin vergüenzura i am not a biblical whore even if I had a most beautiful body, I wouldn't be doing that. That's ridiculous. I'm 47 years old. If I didn't do it when I was 17 years old, before I had my babies, huh? Que es eso? I believe that breasts are for nursing babies. I've always said that. Huh? My, my friend James said, as I told him, I said, I've, I've been wanting to just get, you know, not have to worry about my cycle every month. And I know this is personal, deeply personal. And he said, oh, but you're going to turn gray. And I'm just like, please. I already thought about that. I'm just going to be a brown-eyed blonde. Okay? I'll j I already thought about it. It'll be low maintenance. It'll look good. I can already envision it. And I don't like blonde hair and brown eyes. But when you have white hair... That'll be easy. Not, no roots. <laughs> I'll have to bleach my hair, you know, when that happens. But I ain't ready yet. I ain't ready. Okay? So, when somebody tells me that I'm lazy, fat, B-I-T-C-H, it's like, okay, okay, okay. I will take care of it. One thing at a time. Let me finish nursing Jacob, and then let me get situated. Okay? I have ADD. I have to keep everything nice and organized, be a little bit anal retentive because that way I can keep track of where everything is. So anyway, we are like a cell within a cell, our, our planet. It's like a cell within the solar system cell and we're traveling the space of our body. We have already received. All cells have something to receive and something to deliver. So deliver what you have received. I don't want to hear that. Oh, okay. We're, we, we, we don't need to be paranoid. We need to be helping one another with our God-given gifts. So do not fear the FBI and the CIA. Okay? Because when you fear them, then you give them people power. Okay? You don't fear. The only thing is, I didn't pick up Alexander today from DHR because I am not stupid. Okay, when I, when I took Jacob many, many years ago, 20 years ago, when I picked up Jacob and, and, and took him to Virginia, uh, you know, they came at me and said that I was kidnapping my own kid. Okay, by the grace of God, by the grace of God, the police officer said, ma'am, I don't want to take you to jail. I mean, I could, but I won't because I understand what's happening. Okay, your stepfather called me 
okay, to, to come out here. He's the one who called you. My stepfather wouldn't open the door. My stepfather, Jeff Sturgis, who used to work for the, for the uh, Pentagon. Yes. And my stepfather is supposed to be my stepfather. You know, and I'm just like, by the grace of God, I'm my father's daughter. My papa adopted me. Okay? So, I don't, I don't, I don't have any hard feelings toward my stepfather. But you know, the, I've had a hard life. Okay? I'm not here to d tell you my sad story. No. But by the grace of God, my Papa God is watching after all his children. And there's no excuse for child trafficking. We need to help the FBI and the CIA and be vigilant. Okay? And understand that there are people in jail who are sitting in jail because of this ma mass incarceration that's been going on for a long time. And I want to remind you that all police officers aren't bad people. Okay? They're risking their lives every day. And a lot of police officers die because some of you like to just gun people down. Okay, so you need to understand that guns is not the solution. Okay, the gun does not make you a, a better man or a woman. If you want to go hunting, go hunting. Okay, for ethically, for turkey or something when it's turkey season. Don't be killing your neighbor's turkey. Seso. I see Paul and Jeremiah before me in this particular house, but today, today, for the first time ever, okay, my vision, it starts to change. I start to see these different things, okay, up in the clouds. I'm not schizophrenic. I'm not making this up. But today I saw Jeremiah because he's always been closer to us and slightly lower than Paul. But today, Jeremiah went up, 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 up and actually covered over Paul and went above Paul. Okay, still closer to us, but much closer. The weeping is done. Okay, the fighting is done with the wild beasts have been righted. Believe in me. This is the message to, to the churches, okay? I'm a, a witness and a messenger twice, and I'm not bluffing. And I want y'all to understand that the Papa God has been looking at all that you've been doing, and the Papa God is bringing it to my attention. He's like, I want you to look this up. I want you to look this up. I want you to look this up. And Paul and Jeremiah are with me too. Oh, yes. They said, weep no more and fight no more. But they want me to be looking this stuff up. Hmm? So I can point it out to your attention. And we can connect the dots. And we can see. Because the plummet with the seven eyes is also the headstone. That was up, up, up the mountain that came down for the completion of the temple it is not that the temple is going to be demolished no to finish is to complete and we are members of the body temple but also temple remember that the head is to heaven as the heart is to earth and these two things are connected a new heart and a new mind in a new heaven and a new earth these things are connected and the plum plummet is attached to the plum line which is from heaven because as above so below oh yes indeed oh i'm so happy to be here to tell you this good news okay you don't need to be afraid of anyone out there no so you don't need to be paranoid about the fbi or the cia because even these labs that were busted here in alabama for cheating on people they they wanted to keep the, the they take the custody away from the parents they were cheating on the lab making the parents that were not drug addicts drug addicts and that kind of stuff, wishy washy stuff they got busted two of them here in alabama oh yes indeed 
because we can't be doing that to parents no children belong with their parents because there's too much child trafficking and child pornography and organ harvesting and this is where if you feel that you have investigative eyes and an analytical mind and you have a god-given gift and a calling remember okay that the fbi and the cia need your help okay because the cia is for for clean indoor air because god has given us dominion over the air and all that lives in it yes because i i served in the military in the united states air force yes and i believe in our eagle that flies forward and up 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 you know with the 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 bird's point of view and like flying and reporting all kinds of criminalities oh yes because the military is not supposed to be experimenting on people because nato knows better yes nato nato needs help over there yes because there's going to be transparency across the board everybody because how is it that back in the days you know this nation you know would 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 trust the other nation like oh we want to experiment on on uh, we want to test to do the safety test on 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 your 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 this village over there this remote village oh don't worry about the people don't worry don't worry we just want to do a safety test okay it's like okay okay come on because that was just that was just an excuse okay an excuse for 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 them to get away with criminality you know for the people to be used as guinea pigs for the scientific elite because when you have sick people you know who gets richer i'm not the enemy of the doctors oh no 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 i'm not i'm not because see i was in the medical field and i learned clearly remember the five rights of medication okay you have to respect and you have to have good bedside manner and you're not supposed to be purposely making people sick so you can heal them no 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 que es eso? I learned about preventive medicine. It was pointed out to me that I needed to be on the weight management program. Oh, yes. And I had not had any issues with my health before I joined the military. No. I will show you pictures of me when I joined the military. Very healthy young lady. Healthy young lady. Okay? I had a normal... You know, as normal can be. Then I started falling apart. Yes. But by the grace of God, the grace of God that heals him, people, okay? I got down on my knees on Dove Lane. I said, Papa, this is not my, 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 my health problems. The, this is not my weight. This is not my, my, my problem. My Papa God, within one week I was out there jogging, okay? It's the truth before I joined the YMCA and then before I joined the World Gym. It's the truth. And um, so I didn't have any health issues, you know, be, before I joined the military. I mean, I yes, of course, I was imperfect. I was imperfect. I had an ankle injury as a child. And by the grace of God, this Chinese doctor came and healed my leg, you know, and that I needed to join the military. Huh? And when I joined the military, I was very happy, very happy to do it. And then they told me that I couldn't donate blood because I had sickle cell trait. And I was like, oh, wow, what is that? And then they told me how, you know, sickle cell trait, you know, where that comes from and all that. And my mom said, oh, no, 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 ma'am, you don't have any black in you. And I was like, oh, I mean, but mom I, w I was like it's me it's still me i'm still your daughter she's like no 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 that you're not you don't negro in 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 t this is the racism among us it's still today see people can look white and they have black in them and people can look black and have white in them i wanted to know i wanted to know so i went I, when I went to Panama, I talked to my sisters on my papa's side, and then I found out that, you know, that there was black ancestry, and I was like, oh, okay, well, that's neat, and, you know, I just wanted to know, and I'm, I'm like a little bit of everything, like my grandfather on my mom's side was Irish, all the way Irish, and my mom told me that he was English, 
And so my mom is white, but she th she thought that my dad was white. So I was raised white. And when I told her I had sickle cell trait, she was like, oh, no, no, no. And I was like, oh, yes, yes, yes. They told me I couldn't donate blood. And I was like, why, why? I was freaked out because I thought, you know, I had some disease or something. But, you know, this is important to know because that way you teach your children, okay, you have this trait. That way when you have a child, you know, children need to know this stuff. It's very important. Okay. And um, so, yeah. So... I am black and white, okay, so I don't want to hear it, and when people say, well, why do you talk like that, it's like, because, uh, wh why not, why can't people have an accent, what, if English, British people have an accent, you know, and people from Australia have an accent, and people from Mexico have an accent, and I have an accent, <laughs> I have all kinds of accents that come out just naturally. I love it. Yes, we all have an accent. People from Mississippi have an accent, and people from Alabama have an accent. It's not Alabama, it's Alabama. You know? I love it. And when people say, no, you ain't. You know, I mean, white people say that here in the South, and they say, yeah, I might could. <laughs> Oh, yeah, they say, I might could, but then there are people who say, oh, those, you know, like that, that Ebonics, Ew, Ebonics, it's like, that's not even, that's not even, uh, why do they want to talk about Ebonics? It's like, it's a cultural thing, people, it's a cultural thing, you know, it's like, that's just the way it is, you know, because like white people in the South, they say, I might could, you know, and no, you ain't. And I ain't your mama. You know, they talk just like that. White people. Black people, too. All kinds of people. Asian people, they don't even... They, they get right to the point. They're like, you like, you don't like. Because they're like, to the point. They don't fiddle fart around. You know, they're too busy thinking math, little numbers. They have a calculator. You know, they're good at math. That's why... You know, they, the people in the computer industry like Asian and, and people from India because that's what they're good for. So we need to clean our air over there in China. Yes, in America, the people are saying, oh, America owes China. It's like, well, hello. America can pay their debt by helping with like the CIA clean in their air, not killing each other's agents, because what's the point of killing Chinese agents in America or China killing American agents? It's like, what are y'all spying on? What What is it that you're all spying on? Hmm? Hmm. Are you going to come back and report that the air, it, the quality of the air is not clean or that there are buildings that are vacant over there? Go ahead, report it, good, because that way America can pay back their debt by helping to expedite, clean that up, and then it helps their economy, and then they, they don't have to be exploiting people because we sent our, our, our things over here from America to be made in China, and then it takes our jobs away from American people but then it, it, it you know people over there get exploited so who's responsible for the exploitation of the Chinese people is it the Chinese government or is it the American government or other governments that send their work over there not the government but the individual companies because money 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 fast 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 because oh and now they want uh, ro uh, robots are taking our jobs <gasps> Be careful with the robot in your house. You don't want the robot to take over your to take your husband away. No. <laughs> Be careful. Okay? Okay, no. We don't we need a human beings to be caring because we don't want to be um What really hit my heart and I have to go back because otherwise I'm going to get ahead. I was going to go on about the robots, okay? But what really hurt my heart is when I found out that people were paying $500 for a, for a calling card and not able to use it. And they're sitting in jail. And what if they're not guilty? Or what if they were selling marijuana? 
marijuana is um, should people shouldn't be going to jail for smoking it or selling it period end of story I'm not saying people need to be stoned and go to work stoned or stoned and go uh, work with machinery or dr drinking and driving no 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 that's not what I'm saying I believe that they need breathalyzers at the bars yes because that way before you leave the bartender is like I, I know that you probably have had too much I'm not I believe that people when they go to the bar there needs to be a program people we need to get situated okay we need to be working with the police and we need to be working with the FBI and the CIA not against it we don't need to be feeling like we're being targeted we need to be proactive okay pro active so that's what we do we need to have a plan okay you don't want to get busted for drinking and driving you don't want to kill somebody while drinking and driving you don't want to kill yourself or kill somebody or injure somebody and end up paying it for the rest of your life it's what you do okay we need to think about these things it's just an idea okay don't blame me don't blame me because I'm speaking my mind because you're going to read it anyway. And then it may get mistranslated. And I don't want anybody interpreting my thoughts for me. I will speak for myself. Because sometimes people can misinterpret. So I'll interpret myself. So if. I'm going to have a drink or two because I've had a, a very stressful time and I just need to unwind. I'm going to take my keys, give it to the bartender, tell he or she, please do not, this is volunteer now, volunteer. Nobody can make you do something you don't want to do. This volunteer, okay, because we have freedom. But is highly suggested. Here are my keys. You know, you put your name on it. You put your name on it, and it's with your tab. Um, as a preventative, you know, just in case you feel that, you know, they they should have a breathalyzer, because you don't want the police officer to be to end up being the one pulling you over with a breathalyzer so to avoid that i'm not saying we're going to take the police officers out of business no 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 no. there's always going to be something going on okay because people steal purses and people steal children and we are going to be vigilant vigilant okay so we're okay here's my my keys okay with my tab and um yeah, when I'm done drinking, I'm like, ha, 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 having a good time. And maybe I'm, I've had too much, you know, and just to be safe, you know. Recommend food and snacks so that you're not just like giving somebody drinks, you know, and uh, make more money for the business. But that's what we're encouraged to do. And you offer them coffee, so sober up a little bit, you know, like they do at the Waffle House. And um, then you know you can you can you can say you know well may I please may I please um, test the breathalyzer? I mean, there could be a fee for that. I don't know if you know to pay for the batteries or whatever or for the for the I, I don't know. I'm sure I'm sure that there's a cost. You know, a minor cost, whatever it takes to keep it going, right? they can add it to your tab like breathalyzer charge you know just that can be something that can be done as as voluntarily or if the bartender feels that you are intoxicated and before they hand you your keys if you have handed over the keys if you have not handed over the keys then if that bartender feels that you need a breathalyzer you know i believe that these things need to be done on a voluntarily basis but i believe that it needs we need to start an initiative because we don't want people either killing themselves or killing other people while they're driving you know just for everybody or for you to be fined you know um 
very high fine for drinking and driving. <sighs> okay, that's an idea. But people shouldn't be in jail because they were selling marijuana or because they were smoking marijuana. And people shouldn't have their children taken away because they were smoking marijuana or because they were, um, or because they were, I believe that if somebody was smoking marijuana, um, or doing drugs in front of their children, like in front of their children, you know, I don't know. I, I honestly, I don't know. That's not my calling. Okay. I'm not going to go there. I'm not. Because I don't do marijuana. I only tried marijuana one time, like a long, long time ago, because my stepfather said that I could try it once, you know, just to get it out of my system. And I didn't try when I was 17, when it was suggested by my stepfather that I just get it out of my system. I tried it when I was 27, and I literally, literally vomited, and the room started spinning. And I lay down and I was so disgustingly sick for hours. I was sweating profusely and I had diarrhea for a long time. And I was like, that's it for me. I'm never, ever, 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 ever desiring this stuff again. I don't like to be feeling like that. No, and I don't like to drink to get drunk. And I get drunk very easily because I'm a lightweight. Like I can have two glasses of wine and then I'm like throwing up, like at the bar. And I'm like, or whatever. I'm like, I can't. So I have to drink very in moderation. I have to dilute my sangria at home with like half juice, acai juice and sangria. You know, because um, I like to mix it up a little bit. You know, like they do in Spain. They do sangria during the daytime, you know, as a spritzer. You know, they don't do it to drink to get drunk. And then they have siesta. And then they have, they, they have dinner like at 11 o'clock at night or something. I mean, it's like the good life. You know, we need to emulate the good. That's why I wanted to go to Italy and Spain. So I could like drink olive oil and good wine. I kid you not. Like a long time ago, I wanted to, you know, but I was stationed at Kiesler and then I could never leave. <laughs> I can never leave the South, <laughs> you know, and I feel sometimes like my Papa God, you know, why? But it's like, I wouldn't have had my children. I wouldn't have had my Jacob and my Alexander 11 years later. And I'm just like, sometimes I feel like, like this world is the hell, you know, because I've already seen my Papa and I already know how wonderful that can be. And I didn't see anything like in heaven. No, I just saw the light and that light was so pure and it was like, that was it. And then I was back down here and I'm just like, oh my Lord, it is the hell, you know, but heaven on earth is a possibility that is the hope we are the members of the body of christ and we need to be going like this helping the cia and the fbi okay and and um helping and then it's like oh because some of us you know can fly like the eagle and see and then some of us um you know have different gifts all of us have different gifts but we don't need to be purposely disabling people or purposely incarcerating people so that we can have all kinds of monitoring of certain individuals you know um just to keep them there in front of the computer like like a little robot that's inhumane and cruel treatment like the the calves that are removed from the baby, the, the mama cow, you know, or the chicken that are all cooped up. It's inhumane treatment of humanity and animals. That's why we need to have a change of heart, okay? And we don't need to be cheating people from their hard earned money, you know, it, like, Customer service needs to be customer service. If somebody is advertising 
a business and you have an, a legitimate business that's making you money so you can pay your employees but for the love of God and Jesus by the mercy please have a good quality customer service representative available you know during business hours so they can answer the phone and they can actually respond in a timely manner you know customer service very important we need more customer service representatives okay so we are going to be like hey brother we've got polluted water over there this is cia agent okay reporting of america american cia reporting on on you know the china situation yeah like hey um yeah this is agent so and so and i'm just like letting you know that yeah we still have you know the air pollution and we still have the um the the vacant building situation we need to help you know with the the cleaning of the air and uh helping here with their real estate you know because we have overcrowded in other parts of the 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 the, the, the earth that could be coming over here and uh, helping the economy so they don't exploit their own people and um and uh, you know then americans should be like oh yeah you know we can pay back our debt you know by sending uh engineers over there to help you know expedite the cleaning of the air and uh helping to uh, maintain the buildings you know to to bring them back up to code so that they the, that these buildings don't go to waste you know because um somebody built them you know i think it was like people from australia were like building a lot in china and so um but somebody needs to maintain those buildings like circulate the air circulation is the cure and the solution okay so and it's like well we don't we can't afford to spend all of our money because our taxpayers uh, money needs to be spent on our public schools here in America and we need to pay our police officers better salary because they're like you know putting their life on the line they don't get paid enough for what they do and we don't we want to we want to prevent we want to prevent um, you know like criminality within you know within our police uh departments so in order to reduce crime within the police departments we need to pay them a better salary this is like to improve morale and it also increases you know um yeah the morale and um um the same thing with the school teachers they need to be paid better salaries and not encouraged to be writing tickets left and right to flag these kids so that these kids can qualify for special needs program when they're really gifted children the future leaders not the future pris prisoners it's been brought up to my attention that there has been a, a, a system you know of flagging certain kids the majority of them minority that were flagged you know only to go from schools to jail and that gifted children especially the minority were being purposely held back this the criminality uh, yeah all this stuff among administration for years and years and years you you go ahead and, and ask your own teachers if it's not true all this stuff has been brought up to my attention via the world wide web yes the world wide web is a is a net the internet because we're fish we're catching fish in the net Shh. yes because we are the disciples of jesus the followers of jesus jesus is in us and jesus is leading us jesus is speaking to us and then we're like listening and then because jesus jesus communicating with the papa you have jesus in you and then you're like it's like then or daughter you know don't tune god out no jesus in there is is waking up and it's like manifestation okay like walter anderson said a realization see walter anderson didn't appreciate all the pollution that the 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 military bases 
uh, had a military camp when they set up camp over there in in his water uh, polluting his water no 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 we don't need to be conducting t safety tests that's ironic these little tests oh, for your nuclear anything que es eso? that's a criminality criminality to be polluting our air because you know what it does it causes cancer what what are you in cahoots with certain doctors that want to be curing the cancer that they caused that where's the five rights of medication huh que es eso? Hmm. there's a reason why the staff of aaron that eats the other snakes hmm. that's right so it pained my heart when I lived over there on Horseshoe Bend and it was brought up to my attention, all this stuff that was brought up to my attention. It pained me deeply. And I don't want to hear that the presidents are the Antichrist. They didn't say they said it alone. Ah, que es eso? Peter Satan is Peter Satan, okay? Peter does what Peter does. That's why we need to think with our head on top of our head. It's Paul. Paul head. Okay? The last and the least will be the greatest and the first. Because Paul is the twelfth disciple. You know, we're going from Peter, Paul. Because if we go with Peter, that's why we have so much child trafficking and organ harvesting and human trafficking for sexual trafficking and perversion and, and all kinds of raping of the children. No, 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 no. That's what the Peter head does, okay? So we need to think with Paul head. No disrespect, but says so in the Bible. It says, Peter, Satan. Huh? Que es eso? And then when Joshua is before the angel of the Lord in Zechariah 3, the Lord, the Lord said, the Lord rebuke you, Satan, the Lord who has chosen Jerusalem. Hmm? Simple.